Hello, my fellow Hunters. In this video, I want to show you for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak M version 14 Title Update 4 the best uh, Thunder Switch X, not the best Thunder Switch X in general, because it depends on the hit zones of the monsters and various attacks, so it depends from player to player which is the best uh, yes, Thunder X for him. Is he good at aiming at weak points and different stuff? So it really depends on the player which is the best. Switch X for you, you can use, and um, I previously uploaded the speedrun. The world record currently for T-Grex with Switch X is 1 minute 30, but you also have to consider that in the world record, the speedrunner has used CSDs, and CSDs are kinda, yes, a little bit brain dead, and it makes the hunt a little bit easier. So I in this run, I just got for a full grounded playstyle, which is a little bit more difficult than using uh, CSDs or make use of aerial combos. And yes, there was a comment from eway2316, yes, who asked why this over Narva, so it's a very good question, because previously um, I always used um, Narva X for Thunderweak monsters, but also for Baryov and other stuff, and I already explained a little bit stuff, but yeah, Spiderfill was also here, and he's one of my best um, uh, supporters on the channel since several years. So I think maybe he's interested, Spiderfill, so I'm gonna make this video. And I'm personally also interested in this and wanna explain it to you. So first of all, I'm making this video just for the T-Grex hit zone, so maybe it depends on the monster. For other monsters, there are uh, other... Uh, weapons better or depends on the hit zone. So if some YouTubers or what else are saying yes this weapon is best or this weapon is best, it is a matchup calculation, it depends on the monster, on the enrage multipliers and different stuff. You also nämlich have to consider that T Grex has uh, yes enrage um, multiplier that increases your uh, damage by four percent and other stuff. So which isn't currently in the calculator, but yes, maybe included later, and maybe I'm gonna make it. contact Kokabura later after this video. So the two main parts you are attacking when forming T-Grex is the head and the foreleg. You have maybe seen in the video the first thing you're doing is when you encounter T-Grex, you have to pull some EBCs. You can pull three EBCs in a row, and you first have to attack the the wings or yes. The, try to attack the same wing, for example the left wing which is here, then you can do two EBCs, then he get a knockback, and yes, he get toppled and lays on the ground for 10 seconds, and then meanwhile you can start attacking the right wing, and yes, then he stands up, meanwhile you got a lot of DPS on the other wing, and then you got the second um, topple and got other 10 seconds DPS window, and you already maybe uh, just killed 40% of his HP gouge. And after that you can continuously attacking his head. This is the way you optimal speedrun or form T-Grex, like other stuff. Um, okay, that's about the weak zones. So the wings hit zone, which is the main hit zone, we continuously attacking it after the beginning is a 50 cut hit zone with a 20 thunder hit zone so we can make use of element exploit and also the head is 65 with a 25 so you can also make use of element pain but for me personally it's very tricky to always attack the head main target for me personally is the, are the wings because they are already also not that bad so i am also you can check it out on my spreadsheet the version 14 notes and calcs tabulator I already calculated a little bit of stuff for example um, yes the extra bonus stuff you got when augmenting your armor and severin stuff so I compared three switch axes Full mark from Keitsu, Thunderclap from Narva, and this Nogris Switch X, which was used in previous versions. Here you can see the slots, the rampage, upgrades, and the attack and element stats, um, and how they are upgraded after a curious augmentation. 
So yes, optimum is full more K2X because we can make use of the uh, yes level seven element augmentation, which gives us 45 extra uh, additional element. And for the other axes, we have to snipe for a level three rampage decoration to make use of fire switcher or element bane, um, which are now forced to the elemental power creep. Also, don't forget, I have put the 5% critical I1 compensation for Thunderclap and Sinogo Switch X because of the shortness management. They both have already tiny purple shortness management. For Mark, you can put a level 3 Handicraft Switch X uh, deco on this X, so you only have remaining level 1 Handicraft. And yes, the compensation are both other Xs 5%. The skills I've used are skills that are used for non direction non-HP drain builds, which are attack boost 4, critical boost 3, wax 3, thunder attack 5, elemental expert 1, boost 3, also furious 3 with dragon resistance 3 and dragon conversion 3, so I'm going to use the furious skill. And yes, uh, these are the calculations I've made, I didn't show you the entire way how to calculate that stuff. So red is counter attacks, green is grounded playstyle and blue is aerial playstyle. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the stats. So you can see first of all that Ketsu and Narva X are kinda similar in the damage values but it depends on the combos you're doing. But in general, I have to say that K2X is slightly better. Uh, especially, I've killed Tigrex for Crowned Playstyle, and you can see here RM Loop. Um, especially, you can see here LM Bane is better mathematically, but you don't have to forget that PSP provides you a lot more fluid gameplay and you didn't have to recharge your sword gouge with special combos like 2SMS so you didn't really need 2SMS which is like more longer combo with less DPS so at the end of the day I think PSP is still better than LM Bane. So you can see here just let's start with the elemental burst counter. These are the hit zones for the head and these are the hit zones for the wings. Uh, the numbers are kind of similar because yes the raw and the elemental hit zone value decreases in the same multiplier, so all the stats are very, yes, nearly the same from the head and from the wings. So yes, uh, if you just go for full counter, you can see here that Sinogre is does the most damage because you got a huge um, motion value on your uh, raw values and element doesn't really make the biggest benefit of the elemental burst counter, it's better for raw weapons, so if you just take the number of elemental burst counter, the Xenogre switch X is the best. And that's the only thing where the Xenogre switch X is the best. Next combos are the grounded combos, which we are using, uh, if you're using, for example, grounded playstyle, we're using 80% of the time. There's combos, um, yes, with PS Beam, LM Bane, so for the Sinogre and uh, Narva X, there is included a Rampage slot upgrade, so they didn't have to optimize uh, elemental damage output. And you can see here, Ketsu is for Crowned Playstyle by far the best Switch X with the most damage output. Also, on the other head zone for the wings, you can see here uh, they are nearly the same, but Ketsu is slightly better for Crowned Playstyle. Uh, um, so, in general, you can say if you're playing grounded playstyle and you use either a fire switch boost or a LM Bane decoration and anti skill decoration for grounded playstyle doesn't really make sense because you heavily rely on a consistently good sword meter, whether PSP is provided or in general grounded playstyle scales better with elemental damage output because the fire tick burst scales extremely good with element and yes, therefore LM Bane is also very nice to have and for aerial playstyle anti-skill is optimal. So I just always use the optimal decoration sizes. Um, yes, now to the aerial playstyle. And you can see for aerial that Ketsu and Narva is still very competitive. But if you're going just for full spam SASD and nothing else, just go for pure aerial playstyle. I was very surprised because I thirst I thought Xenogre is the best switch X for aerial playstyle. 
but that isn't the case. Um, even if it has a power file, you can see uh, Nara X scales best with CSD, and I'm kind of surprised to see this calculation, but you can also change, check it out here. You can see still this is the Sinogra X and the damage output for the CSD is about uh, 2500 with 2100 for area. Yeah, as you can see here, 2500 with 2100. So the other axes are still a lot better on these hit zones. And yes, if you go for full aerial, for example for Tigrex, Narva is the best. Yes, but I think we didn't have that much CSD spammer. So in general, I would say the most comfy is Ketsu. And the reason is uh, you didn't have to always change your Rampage slot sizes. You can just squeeze in an LM Bane or File Switcher, I recommend File Switcher in this X. You can just make out all your elemental augments and some attack augment. And there you go, you are vers very versatile. In comparison to the other axes, you sometimes have to increase the slot size of the Rampage slot and other stuff, which is kind of annoying. So in general, I would say Ketsu X is the most versatile one. Also here are the compensation values. When we are going back to this calculation for the anti-skill, you can see Nerva X uh, are used for CSD with 325 raw, with 190 element, which is hella correct. And also for the Sinogro X we use 350 raw with 90 element, which is also absolutely correct. And still doesn't got a very good damage output. So you can see, yes, 30 element difference, that is a huge thing. And that's it with the calculation. I want to make this video too long if you're interested in other matchups. You can tell me in the comment section over here. So thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.